good afternoon dear students today we have discussed about the chapter number 2 chapter number 2 and there is the in previous class we have already discussed number 1 parts of flower number 2 Male gametophyte structure and development process. Number three, female gametophyte development and their structure. And third, fourth, pollination types of pollination: autogamy, genetogamy, or genogamy. And five, agents of pollination. in case of agents biotic and abiotic agents are there later on adaptation for the pollination for water pollination hydrophily water pollination wind pollination and insect pollination later on some exception will be there and later on we have discussed about a particular point and that point is the adaptation for the cell pollination and the cross pollination and one more thing compare between the cell and cross pollination one more part that is the cleistogamous chamogamous world will be there with example also i have already sent in your group also third thing in case of that part of the reproductive part we have one part that is the device for the out breeding so now the stand what are the devices for the out breeding device in case of out breeding devices means what are the particular techniques are there these techniques are avoid to the pollination as well as self pollination also because we have already discussed the things the two parts will be there one is the self pollination another is the cross pollination so now this term we have this term is there out breeding devices case number 1 Out breeding devices may case number one, that is the non synchronization, syn non synchronization of pollen release and receptivity. of stigma so point number 1 out breeding devices non synchronization of pollen release and the receptivity of the stigma number 2 different maturity of the different nature especially different nature of stigma and anthem third self incompleteity self incompleteity means what male reproductive part is there female reproductive part is there both the gametes formation process will be there but again later on male gametes are not fused with female gametes the pollen grains are not received by the stigma of the self sorry self plant also there may be some chemical and physical barrier and genetical barrier will be there and that type of the in non pollination nature is known as the self incompleteity and number 4 sometimes what will be happen the flower may be unisexual 
in case of unisexual flower there is the cell pollicis not possible so what are the outbreeding devices in case of the outbreeding devices we have just four devices is there which have just responsible for the cross pollination and avoid to the cell pollination first non synchronization nature of pollen religion and the receptivity of the stigma different form of the stigma and anther and self incompletity and fourth is the unisexual nature of the flower now this time other things what will be happen here is the simple aspect will be here according to that nature we have just one part is there when the naturally pollination cannot be completed or sometimes what will be happen we want to just conduct the cross pollination that type of process is known as the artificial artificial pollination methods in case of artificial pollination methods in your textbook there is the definitely two methods are given one part that is the emasculation and second is the bagging method is there artificial methods for the sun so cross pollination emasculation a flower where what will be happen in case of that flower there is a female reproductive structure and that is the male reproductive structure we want to the our to these pollen grains are just reach here so what will be happen we have just covered with a bag just sorry just we how do one thing no sorry 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 emasculation means before the maturing of anther anther that is the structure of anther is there but before maturing anther ko mature hone se pehle remove kar dena kaat do aapko hum log practical mein ek question exercise dete hain उसमें ये फ्लावर बना देते हैं ऐसे और उसके साथ में ये एंथर है और जो एंथर होता है उसके साथ में इस टाइप से कैच बना के बना देते हैं मींस रिमूविंग ऑफ एंथर दैट इज द इमास्टुलेशन रिमूविंग ऑफ एंथर एंथर को यहां से हटा दो एंथर को यहां से हटा दो अगर बड़े एंथर है लार्ज साइज है देन वी कैन जस्ट कट इट समटाइम्स वॉट विल बी हैपन the anther are small in size then we have do one thing we have just use the alcohol or spray that alcohol particular that part that's why the anther becomes the inactive or the hot water will be spray also due to that region the pollen grains becomes the inactive and that process is known as the emasculation and later on whatever type of pollen grains you want with pollination that pollen grains are just reach and that part desirable parts that is the emasculation bilkul naam se pata hai emasculation yani anther ke mature hone se pehle hi usko wahan se remove kar dena emasculation kehlata hai aur bagging sometimes what will be happen we have do one thing that is a female reproductive part just we have female reproductive part will be cover with the bag whatever type of bag will be there we have just cover that female reproductive part due to that region their part is unable to pollen grains are not transfer at reach at the stigma that is the bagging so artificial methods there is the two methods number 1 that is the emasculation and number 2 there is the bagging methods we have the two methods emasculation एंथर के मैच्योर होने से पहले उसको रिमूव कर दो इमास्टिकेशन के बाद बैगिंग इट विल बी कवर्ड विद बैग नेक्स्ट केस आफ्टर देन वी हैव यूज्ड द 
one important methods and the tuition will be there. There is a, a special interaction between the chemical interaction also between the male and female male and female gametes also. And that process is known as the pollen pistil interaction. Pollen pistil interaction. Pollen pistil interaction. That question will be three marks. Question is there. In case of pollen pistil interaction, what will be happen? Pollen is the male part and pistil is the female. Definitely, there is the male and female part. It is the special type of interaction, chemical attraction between the male and female part. And that is the pollen pistil interaction. How that process is completed? Just you have to go through the diagram and same diagram in your NCRT textbook also. Same diagram in your NCRT textbook also. Then what will be happen? There is that part of ovules and number of cells and that how they just go through the that type of the cells. First of all, the pollen grains just re reach at the part of stigma. Your stigma will be and your have a style and you have a part of ovary hoga, and that is the ovule. ovule. Stigma, style and ovules. Later on, what will be happen? First of all, pollen grains are transferred to the stigma. Stigma have secret the specific type of chemicals. Just I have read down. And later on, what will be happen? Pollen grains are germinated. By the germinating, the pollen grain have formed the pollen tube. And later on, that pollen tube are elongated and transfer through the stick style and finally reach at the part of the ovules. And that procedure, whole procedure is known as the pollen pistil interaction. So point number one, pollen grains transfer on stigma pollen grain ya stigma pe pahunchenge number 2 stigma secret special chemical number 3 germination of pollen grains due to the presence of chemical and some species chemicals are not with other species pollen grains number four germination of pollen grain ke baad, formation of pollen tube formation of pollen tube Number five, elongation of pollen tube. And lastly, number six, pollen tube entrance for ovule. That complete passage is known as the pollen pistil interaction. So just again, pollen grains transfer on stigma, pollen grains transfer on stigma, stigma secret special chemicals and germination of pollen grain, germination of pollen grain and formation of pollen tube, formation of pollen tube. Elongation of pollen tube, elongation of pollen tube, and last pollen tube enters for the ovules. Yaha se ovule may enter ho jai. That complete process is known as the pollen pistil interaction. That is the three marks to cells. Pollen pistil interaction. Now start. What are the particular path responsible? for the 
एंट्रेंसिंग ऑफ द पोलर ट्यूब एट द ओब्यूस पार्ट केस नंबर वन जस्ट देर इज द थ्री मेजर एंट्रेंस पाथ इज देयर हाउ मच थ्री एंट्रेंस पाथ इज देयर नंबर वन पोलर ट्यूब कैन बी एंटर एट द पार्ट ऑफ माइक्रो पाइल इन मैक्सिमम प्लांट्स दैट कैन बी एंटर बाय द माइक्रो पाइल जस्ट वी हैव जस्ट गो थ्रू दैट पार्ट देर इज द थ्री सेल्स आर देयर एंड रिमेनिंग पार्ट इन केस ऑफ दीज सेल्स दैट टाइप ऑफ स्पेशल स्ट्रक्चर इज देयर एंड दैट इज द इंटेग्यूमेंट्स सो व्हाट विल बी हैपन पोलर ट्यूब कैन बी एंटर पोलर ट्यूब कैन बी एंटर बाय द माइक्रो पाइल दैट इज द माइक्रो पाइल रीजन एंड इट कैन बी एंटर बाय द माइक्रो पाइल एंड नियर बाय 80 परसेंट एंजियोस्पर्म प्लांट में पोलर ट्यूब होती है वो माइक्रो पाइल एंड से ही एंटर होती है नंबर टू इट कैन बी एंटर बाय इंटेग्यूमेंट्स Sometimes, suppose it may be entrance that by that part, because that is the integuments and that entrance is known as the integuments, or that is the micro pile, and another end is the challenger end. Sometimes it can be entrance by the challenger region. Challenger region. यानी आपके challenger region से हो सकता है तो number three, that is the challenger end. It means the pollen tube entrance path in the ovules. There may be three types. First by the micropyle end. Second by the integuments end. and third by the challenger end there is the three major path entrancing path is there but what will be happen here is the simple aspect will be there later on in maximum plants that can be entered by the micro pile region because the reason is there the pollen tube can be reach at the end or the for the fertilization and that is only a micro pile because the female gamete it means egg cell is only present at the micropyle end at the micropyle end so we have do one thing now is time next question there is the simple question will be here double fertilization in angiosperm double fertilization in angiosperm double fertilization in angiosperm plants double fertilization only present in angiosperm plant group other whatever type of group is there there only or only one type of fertilization is there and that fertilization simple single fertilization is there but now this time here is that fertilization just and just that fertilization is totally two types is there one is the syngamy and another is the triple fusion fertilization is how the two types why the double fertilization term is there so do one thing first case number 1 that is the true fertilization true fertilization or true fertilization or that is also known as the syngamy and second there is the triple fusion triple fusion so one is the true fertilization or the syngamy and second is the triple fusion the fertilization takes two times true and triple that's why that process is known as double fertilization means fertilization takes two time true fertilization and what we can say same way triple fusion there is a three nuclei are fused so come on the part number 1 you have to do one thing just you have go through the diagram diagram part 
there is the three cells are there and again the three cells we have just studied about the particular part of embryo cell and there is the polar nuclei two nuclei will be there and that is the egg cell egg cell is the female gamete and that is the polar nuclei polar nuclei and that part is the antipodal cell and what will happen here is the simple aspect is these cells of the synergid cells just they have formed the filiform apparatus filiform apparatus and that filiform apparatus is just providing the path for the entrance of pollen tube here is the pollen tube are just reach at that end and each pollen tube just contain the two male gametes how much male gametes are there two male gametes are there first and second when the pollen tube is entered at the micropyle end the house of synergid cells are just filiform apparatus is there remaining only one egg cell is there and two male gametes so first in case of two fertilization what happened one is the egg cell that is the haploid end and another is the male gamete first male gamete is there there is also haploid egg cell middle cell egg cell is there one nuclei and egg cell and first male gametes that is the male gametes are fused and just that how this form the two n stage and that is known as the zygote and that type of fertilization is known as the two fertilization as well as syngamy fertilization syngamy egg cell n stage male gametes n stage and that is the form the two n cell that is known as the zygote and the next division the zygote is changed into the form of embryo and embryo is next progeny or the future part will be there number two there is the triple future second nuclei is just transferred by that part of the middle region i mean number two that is the triple future in case of triple fusion here is the simple aspect will be there first polar nuclei what term is there polar nuclei plus male gamete so what that thing is there polar nuclei that is the 2n stage male gamete that is the n stage n and 2 that is just change into the 3n and that cell is known as the pen primary endospermic nuclear cell p e n there is the three n stage there is the three nuclei are fused that's why there is a triple future and that p e n the change after the division into the endosperm and endosperm in angiosperm plants each cell of endosperm that is a three n stage in triple part will be there so what that thing is there simple aspect here is the fertilization is takes two times triple fusion and the two fertilization two fertilization means egg cell haploid male gametes haploid change into the 2n that is a zygote and zygote by the division it how change into the particular part of the embryo and embryo is next generation next triple fusion triple fusion how the first polar nuclear cell that is a diploid middle cell will be there that is a diploid cell and male gametes that is the haploid and 2n plus n is equal to 3n and the forming cell is known as the PEN PEN primary endospermic nuclear cell and after the division that cell have formed the endosperm endosperm is the hybrid in nature male and female both character will be there as well as vigor in nature and that helps us provide the nourishment or the nourishment nutrient for the developing embryo any embryo co develop hone ke liye jo nutrition deta hai wo endosperm deta hai endosperm provide the nourishment or the nutrient for the embryo so how much time of fertilization takes place two times which are the first is the two fertilization second is the triple fusion two fertilization se embryo banega aur triple fusion se aapke paas mein endosperm banega 
और एंडोस्पर में डेवलपिंग एम्ब्रियो को न्यूट्रिएंट प्रोवाइड करवाएगा दैट इज द स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ द डबल फर्टिलाइजेशन इन ओनली और ओनली इन फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स रिमेनिंग पार्ट विल बी नॉट देयर सो दैट इज द डबल फर्टिलाइजेशन एंड देयर इंपॉर्टेंस थैंक्स अलर्ट वी विल मीट ऑन टुमारो सैम्पलेट फॉर्म